Um, what flaws are acceptable? Uh, human nature. Um, mm -hmm. I think we we all. I mean, just speaking for myself, there are times where um, I can be selfish. There's times where uh, I can be inconsiderate. Um, times where I can be be rude without realizing it. Um, whatever it is, or just make a mistake. Yeah. My, I think my. I mean, I'm, my commitment that I've made is just, hey, I'm not perfect. I'm not always going to get it right. But I promise you that I will do my best to not make the same mistake mm -hmm. twice. Yeah. yeah. Um, but at the same time, God gives us grace because he knows we're not perfect. Mm -hmm. Because he knows we're going to fail. We're not going to get it right every time. Yeah. Whether it's um, saying things when we're upset. Whether it's being cranky because you haven't eaten. Like, it's just, you have to, yeah. we're all, we all have human flaws. So the same grace that God gives us. Uh, freely we need to be able to give to one another and realize we're not going to get it right every single day whether yeah. it's uh, whether it's the best relationships in the world still have differences but what I would say is it's how you operate when you have those disagreements does it become a situation where okay we're disagreeing but we're still honoring another in the way so we're having heated conversations or is it a situation where there's abuse physically emotionally uh, or where there's like raising voices where there's disrespect that's different mm -hmm. but um, you have to learn how to fight fair so to speak but because you're not always gonna get it right so I think um, certain flaws just being selfish not always getting it right whatever it is we, we have days where we're off uh, flaws that I would say are not okay to overlook um, is bringing someone else in the relationship, uh, flirting with other people, things that compromise the integrity or the commitment of the relationship. Okay. Mm -hmm. or, or the, the safety. safety. Yeah, yeah, the safety. Or the safety. Yeah, if you yeah. if you compromise the safety uh, or the integrity or the commitment within within the trust within the relationship, then I'd say that's something worth looking at potentially ending the relationship over. I think it's also worth just addressing. Like, I think that there's a big issue with perfectionism in our society yeah. and I think there's just something to be said about being okay with your own flaws uh, mm -hmm. you know women are the victim of a lot of perfectionism I think mm -hmm. just across all kinds of planes and I think uh, it's just really important to be okay with being flawed because we all are no mm -hmm. matter what we yeah. do and so um, you know I, I think kind of hit it really well with the human nature thing I think there's just going to be things that like we can't help about ourselves and I think we have to look to the intention of our own hearts and the intention of people's hearts and you can see that in the fruit like Carlos said but yeah. you know wanting to be better and like committing to working towards the goal knowing maybe you'll never strive for perfection but to be a better version of you tomorrow yeah. mm -hmm. than you were today good. yeah that's really good. good Jason that was great <laughs> yeah. thank you that's good Carlos uh, I think the only thing I would add is I agree we're flawed both sides yeah, yeah. so grace forgiveness is super necessary um, but I think there's also the difference between flaw and making a mistake mm -hmm. which can be forgiven you move on in a character flaw yeah that is something mm -hmm. that it means it's going to happen again mm -hmm. so and those are two two things that are different one you forgive the other one you need to work on yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that's for me, depending on what the character flaw is, that could be a red flag. Yeah. And depending on what the mistake is, because you can make a severe mistake that hurts the relationship. Yeah. And that could also be a red flag. So it really depends on which one it is. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm more concerned about the character one because that one, if it means it yeah. happens today, it might happen again that's six right. months. Yeah. 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 And whether it's a, a character trait, a flaw, or a mistake that was made, I think it's, it's the person's reaction to it. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of dudes will like just be like, nah, it wasn't that was no thing, and it may be something they're struggling with. And right. the guy, the guys that you're looking for should be willing to admit their flaws and be honest about how they're working on them. Yeah. And mm -hmm. So, uh, and I think that the same should apply. I think we have to be honest with ourselves about our flaws and commit to working on them. And yeah. so, like, you know, uh, you're never there's not going to be somebody that's flawless. But when you when you find a guy that's like flaws and all, working on making himself better, it's it's okay to accept the yeah. flaws. When you find the guy that's like clearly flawed and ignoring it, <laughs> that's when you go like red okay, flag, like red flag. exactly. Yeah. So I don't yeah. know that we should be talking about specifically like this flaw, that flaw, or that flaw, but maybe the reaction that he has to his own and just that's is good. he comfortable really with his good. flaws? 
can he admit them and is he willing to be open about how he's addressing them yeah, yeah. and if he's not addressing them you should you should consider that a serious red flag yeah, yeah. thank you guys so much <laughs> So much wisdom on this panel. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. And I know the women at home are grateful that you kept it real 100%. <laughs> we appreciate that because if our brothers won't tell us, then who will? Yeah. Yeah. You know? So I'm grateful on behalf of all these women. Thank you. Because I always, I love picking my husband's brain. Like when we're just, it's just the two of us. I always pick his brain because young women come and they ask me questions. Mm -hmm. And if it's something I haven't experienced, yeah. And I'm like, I need to find out the answer to this. I need sure. to know. Yeah. So yeah. this helps a lot of women. Okay. And we're going to keep talking because I do have a few more questions, but we don't have time to address them right now. Thank you, ladies, so much and everybody for joining us. And if you have any comments or questions, we'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.